Oh, okay, great. Hi, everybody. Thank you for joining me for your last talk of the day. Uh, today, we're going to talk about incorporating labor costs into your finished goods with Odoo. My name is Cecily Barreto. I'm the Director of Implementation North America for Sedexis. I've been working on Odoo for over five years, and I've touched every version since version 10. To tell you a little bit about Sedexis, we're an Odoo partner, and we've been a partner since 2012. We're headquartered in the US, but we have a presence in Switzerland and France as well. Our team has over 40 business analysts, developers, bookkeepers, and system admins that allow us to help our clients at any level that they need. We have a portfolio of 70 plus successful Odoo implementations, and our goal is always to help our clients get the most out of Odoo, whether they're implementing it for the first time or just want to make it work better. If you have any questions as we go through the talk, feel free to scan this QR code and you can add them as we go, and then I'll answer them at the end. Okay, so Odoo allows you to incorporate the cost of labor into your finished goods with the right setup. This is gonna allow you to more accurately understand the bottom line cost of goods sold for each product that you manufacture. To set it up, you have to have work orders enabled and you need to define the cost of labor on each work center that you set up. Odoo will then automatically compute the cost of the labor associated with the work orders and add that to your finished goods inventory valuation. To make the process turnkey, we created an app to ensure that the accounting entries for this are properly stated when you're using automated inventory valuation. So what's good with inventory valuation without some accounting? Let's talk about it a little bit. Um, so let's say that your finished good is made with $160 worth of raw goods and it takes $30 worth of labor to make it. When you complete that manufacturing order in base Odoo, what you're going to do is your inventory count is going to be credited to represent the value of your raw goods being consumed. And then that value will move into the work in progress. When your finished good is posted, we're taking $190 out of the work in progress to incorporate that extra $30 of labor. And then we increase your inventory valuation by $190. What happens is right now, there's no, uh, we're not putting the cost of labor into the work in progress, so we're taking out more than what we entered, and that's what our app aims to fix. So with our app, it's gonna be basically the same on the raw goods side. We'll credit inventory for 160, and we'll debit the work in progress for 160. Then we'll keep the same Odoo posting, so we'll do 160 in the credit account, and then 190 in the inventory valuation account, sorry, the credit should say 190, um, and then we'll add an extra entry where we're going to add the $30 back into the work in progress that we were missing and taking out of an expense account of your choosing. So once we've done that, the cost of the good is gonna flow smoothly. So now that we've taken $30 out of that expense account, when you do your payroll entry, that $30 will be debited again, and those will essentially net each other. So the only thing that you're left with in terms of the cost of your labor is gonna be that $30 that's recognized in the cost of goods sold when you deliver the product or create the invoice depending on how your system is configured. So let's get into a demo. Okay, so first thing I want to talk about is a little bit of the configuration that goes into this. Uh, this is going to work well for people that are using automated inventory valuation with uh, first in, first out as your costing method. The other thing that we want to make sure is set up properly is going to be the accounts on your production location. So the production location is where Odoo puts inventory during the manufacturing process. It'll move the raw goods from where they're located into the production location. And then for the finished good, it'll take it out of the production location and move it back into your stock. Um, so here we have two accounts set up. It's the same work in progress account that we were referencing. Uh, so you always want to make sure that this is configured properly into our manufacturing app. We also want to take a look at our work center and make sure that this is configured properly as well. So this is the Odoo base that's going to let you configure the cost of your labor for each work center. Um, and then this is the field that we add that lets you specify which expense account should the labor be coming out of. 
Now I'm going to create a manufacturing order. Confirm it and plan it. I'll go ahead and start the work order. Uh, just let it run a couple seconds and then mark it as done. Uh, I'm going to add a lot number to my finished good. And then before we mark it as done, I'm just going to update the duration here to an hour so that it's easier to see the accounting entries. Okay, so now that we mark this manufacturing order as done, we can take a look at the journal entries that are created. So here, this is the consumption of our raw goods. So we can see that we're crediting the stock valuation and uh, debiting our work in progress account. And then our final entry is going to credit the work in progress for 190, which is where we see that misbalance from the first entry. We're gonna debit our stock valuation for 190. And then this is the extra entry that our app provides. Um, we're taking $30 from the labor account and moving it into the work in progress so that your cost will flow correctly. So just to conclude, with Odoo, you have the ability to incorporate your employee's labor into the cost of your finished goods, allowing you for a more accurate cost of goods sold. Our app ensures that your work in progress account is accurately stated and that the cost of your labor flows through the product's life cycle seamlessly. And that is it for my demo. Take any questions. Uh, thank you, Cecily, for your presentation. Um, we do have some questions uh, on the pad. I'm going to go ahead with the first one. It says, uh, isn't the example of putting $30 into the expense account not a double cost as you also book your payroll? How do you tackle that? Sure. So to explain it a little bit better, I'm going to go back to these slides. I originally did have a typo in the beginning, so this should make it a little bit clearer. Um, so with our app, you're taking this $30. Uh, essentially, if you didn't have this app, that $30 would stay stuck in the work in progress. So you would be over recognizing the cost. You would have it displayed in the labor account and then in the work in progress. The bottom line would net out, but it wouldn't be as accurate on your P&L, if that makes sense. So just to go through it again, the $30 is part of this work in progress here which gets netted out with this work in progress entry here. And then on the next slide, you can see this is $30 in the expense account, which gets netted out with the payroll entry. And so the bottom line is the cost of goods sold entry that's gonna be on your delivery order if you're doing uh, Anglo-Saxon accounting or your invoice if you're doing standard accounting. Hope that makes sense. Um, if the person who did the question would like to come back with any more doubts on it, feel free and I can just walk to you and we can do the, the, do the question. No, it's all good. Um, if there are not any other questions, uh, is there anything else we would like to add? Um, I don't think so. I did a couple other talks at the OD Experience this year. If you'd like to look me up and watch my other videos. Uh, if you have any questions about accounting in general, I'd say that that's one of my expertises. Um, and I think that's it. Thank you so much, Cecily. Thank you. Cecily. <laughs> okay, great. I know they have to unclip me. Okay, cool. Okay, cool.